So this is probably one of the worst things I have seen over my years on YouTube. The new Copa law, or rather, it's not new. It's more. It's a. It, they reworked it and made it just fucking horrendous. I will leave links to Shedtronic's video where he talked more in depth about it. I just wanted to make this little video talking in general about it and hopefully even if I know I don't I, I have no influence on YouTube pretty much. I'm such a small channel. But I hope all bigger YouTubes will go and talk about this. And if and if enough of us small YouTubers also do that, that it will help to bring this to light because this is some really seriously messed up shit going on. And for those that doesn't know what it is about, this law is generally about protecting kids. That is the the core of it. And while that sounds like a good thing, and in my opinion, it is a good thing, you know, protect the kids. But how they have formulated and made this law is so loose that I feel like it can apply to anyone. And for those of you that have a channel or upload a video or something like that, you have been getting these choices for kids or not for kids. That is just insane, this thing. And of course, I marked not for kids because anyone that watched my channel, you know that uh, I curse, I'm crude, I'm lewd, holding hands and all other kind of kinky shit. That, that is considered da damaging for ki kids and all of that. And I'm playing horror games, grotesque games. I'm watching crazy animes and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, generally this is not a kid's channel and I don't aim towards kids. However, due to this new law of FTC created, this COPA, the thing is that they will ransack, go through all videos, they, all channels on the entire YouTube, over 20 million channels, it's insane, and go through. If they see like, for example, I uploaded this video today of Code Geese. If they see that, they're gonna, they can say like, but it's cartoon, it's a little cute girl. Obviously that's aimed for kids. It is not, but they will see that. That, that's the thing that is so fucking scary with this law is that even if I have marked everything on my channel as not for kids, if they if they or you two go in there and see like it looks like it's aimed for kids, then they will shame that and I will get the fine which can be up to forty two thousand dollars for one video. That is per video. It's not one time. It's every single video. And that is something so fucking absurd. It's just insanity. Especially because everything that involves games, cartoons, um, cereals even, and toys. Everything that even we as adults will enjoy. I mean, how many adults does, don't you know that know Spongebob and love that and all of that, you know? Many do. And the, the risk is that FTC... When they're seeing these, like, oh, games, kids. Anime, well, it's cartoon, kids. They don't think that there are many shows and many games, obviously, that is not intended for kids. And that is the worst. Even if you mark it right, YouTube and, the, and FTC or whatever can go in and change that, and you're getting fined for that. And they will judge by, like, title, about the thumbnails and stuff like that. And that is the worst thing with this fucking law that I feel is that there is an app, YouTube Kids, that is for kids. And if your video get marked as for kids, then you won't be able to get any comments on it. You get no information. You get pretty much no ad revenue on that video. It's completely absurd. And doing that when they have this app, I just find it's just fucking crazy because many videos apparently that appear on this YouTube Kids app appear on YouTube as well. And I understand, of course, protect the kids and all that, but what this law do is first most putting the blame on the content creator for whatever the kids see. 
which I find is fucking stupid because the thing is, what isn't the parents ones supposed? I mean, if the parents say you shouldn't be there on that site, it's up to parents to stop and taking care of their kids, taking responsibility for what they see on the internet. Not we that make all this stuff. Even if I, and that is the worst thing, even if I consider this video I made, this Minecraft video, it's not aimed for, it's aimed for adults or older teenagers and stuff like that. But if FTC or YouTube consider, no, it's not. It doesn't matter what I say, it's what they will say. And that is, the entire thing is so fucking obscure and dumb. And I really, really hope that more big YouTubers, PewDiePie and whatever, every one of them, that they join force and bring this up. Because this is gonna destroy everything. And the thing is, I have over 3,600 videos on my channel. They, and by their standard, they want me to go through every single one of them to make sure that they are correctly marked even if i mark everything as not for kids but considering that i have anime thumbnails i have a cartoon figure of me um thumbnails and they can see that but that, but that is for kids even if it's not it, it, it's a cartoon figure and for them it literally can be ta they can take it like that that is the worst thing and if i would get fined for every single video of for the two thousand dollars, my I would get <laughs> a lawsuit on over one hundred fifty-one million dollars, and <laughs> that is just so fucking absurd. I don't know even though to laugh or cry. And the thing is, if this law hits in, I don't know how I and many others YouTube for that matter can continue doing things. In fact, I'm as a desperation. If things really, really get to that, I might actually need to remove my channel completely because if they're gonna start doing this kind of stuff, it's crazy. That is why it's so important that people take now and speak up about it, trying to stop them. Because if this law gets into things, it, it's, gonna, it's, it's gonna honestly ruin everything. And I don't know how law this law will affect me as I live in Sweden. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm Sweden, but I assume they will still find me because I'm using an American-based site, so everything I upload is within, by their standard, within the United States. Hence, I guess they can uh, sue me as well for all that and find me. And I am poor as it is. I could not, even if I got to find just one video, there is no way in hell I could ever pay that. And if that would come to this, it's... And, it, you know, I hate the thought of that. I have spent over five years of my life to daily upload videos. I've uploaded so many fucking videos. I've been so stubborn to not drop this. Even if... My channel is so small, it doesn't grow very fast or anything. But for me, this has been something I enjoy so much. To make all of this stuff, to entertain, to do playing different games. I get to know so many of you that are so fucking amazing. And when I see your comments, it really means so much to me. That is why it's so fucking terrifying if all this work I've done over all these years... Struggle through with my depression, anxiety. Uh, I've been evicted. I've been homeless. I, well, I literally almost <laughs> ripped the tendons of my thumb or whatever. Not for YouTube, obviously, but it was for old work. But I've been fired, lost jobs. I got jobs. And there have been so much shit in my life. And YouTube, ha doing YouTube have been one of those things that kept me going. Because I believed that... I could do this. I could be a YouTuber. I could live on this. I don't dream of being enormous and be super rich. If I just earn just enough so I could pay my rent pretty much and a little bit of food, I would be so happy. Then I could focus completely everything I do on this. And now seeing that all this work and all these struggles for all these years might come to an end because this fucking dumb law that is it's, it's not even... 
adapted to this time and age. It feels like it's gone thrown back. And as I said, I understand the idea. They want to protect kids, and that is a great thing. But what about the kids that might may be uploading? How about all the young teenagers that do that, or even adults? I mean, seriously, everyone that upload, it's it's gonna be it's a it's a fucking mess. And I really hope everyone that can really trying to stop this. And I really really hope that more people will talk about this. And of course, I'm not entirely I don't I don't know everything about hundred percent, especially since I'm not living in the states, but. I'm worried about this law. Even if it wouldn't affect me, it would affect many people I know and many people I'm watching here on YouTube as well. And it, it's a it's it's a fucking hell. I've seen uh, Ross Donovan, guy that was with Game Grumps, he's talking about removing many of his videos, his animations and all that, because he's afraid that they will be taken well. Marked as for kids while it's not and all of that. All this shit is just insane. And uh, I just wanted to bring this up. I know I'd, I'm not very good at making this uh, serious stuff. But I think this this is one of these. Probably one of the most important changes. That really can ruin it for pretty much everyone. First content creators that are trying to make a living of trying to make videos and for you guys that are watching all of this because if the content creators suddenly can't make any more things and this is the insanity I find that YouTube themselves don't try to do more because what happened if all the content creators suddenly stop doing videos maybe we should all go together all YouTubers and suddenly not make a video, not uploading for one day and see how YouTube reacts to that, like like a pro set or something like that. I just, I just, uh, I'm sorry. It's just that this is really worrisome. This is really troubling. And as I said, I'll leave a link down below to Chatronic's video. He go through things very well and have a more understanding of this than I do. And there's probably many others that I have as well, but... I think this is important to talk about and hopefully if enough people talk it will reach people that can sh do the changes as I said I'm a small guy okay I'm, I'm a big fat guy but I'm a small YouTube wise that I, I, I don't reach out to many people so but if enough people do this I hope it can reach to the big fishes I don't about to burp gosh but yes I will continue doing videos though, so don't worry, for now at least, until the law really set in, which will be on, I think it was 1st January, so I at least have a bit of a month left. After that, until then, we will see what FTC do, and what the changes will be, if there will be changes, because otherwise I don't know what we'll do here. It will be a ghost town. Maybe I emigrate, well, immigrate everything to another channel, which would really suck. Because I said, I have 3,600 videos. There's no chance I can upload them. It's, I don't even have all of them left on my computer. Because obviously, I need to <laughs> delete them. Because I have way too much uh, videos. But yes, sorry for this random rant and seriousness and all of that. But I, I just really wanted to bring this up and... If you don't feel worried about it, I mean, I don't want to stress you about it, but I think personally this is pretty serious stuff. And I'm really nervous and worried about this. But yes, I will be back though with, until, at least for a while more, with more random content, let's plays, animes and whatnot, which is aimed for non-kids, but YouTube and FTC probably will consider is for kids, because... Cartoon! Games! Probably.